Hello everyone, this video is a tribute to the late great Australian bowler Shane Warne. Warne was born in Upper Ferntree Gully, a suburb of Melbourne, Victoria, on 13 September 1969. Warne made his first class cricket debut on 15 February 1991, Victorian Bush Rangers against Western Australian side W at Junction Oval in Melbourne. He was then selected for the Australian B team which toured Zimbabwe in September 1991. In the second tour match at Harare Sports Club, Vaughan recorded his first score of 5 wickets or more in an innings when he took 7 for 49 in the second innings, helping Australia B to a 9 wicket win. Upon returning to Australia, Vaughan took 3 for 14 and 4 for 42 for Australia A against a touring West Indies side in December 1991. Vaughan had played in seven first-class matches before making his test-level debut for Australia. He was called into the Australian team in January 1992 for a test against India at Sydney Cricket Ground. Vaughan's first few games didn't yield spectacular results. In 1993, Vaughan was selected for Australia's Ashes Tour of England in which he was the leading wicket-taker for the Test Series with 34. His first ball of the series was the ball called the ball of the century, bowling the experienced English batsman Mike Gatting with a ball that turned from well outside leg stump to clip the off bail. Vaughan took 71 Test wickets in 1993. Vaughan featured in South Africa's tour of Australia in 1993-94 and Australia's return tour in March 1994. In the second test of South Africa's tour at the SCG, Vaughan took 10 wickets in a test for the first time in his career. Australia sought to retain the Ashes when England toured a five-test series in 1994-95 when Vaughan took a career-best 8 for 71 in the second innings of the first test at Brisbane Cricket Ground, the Gabba, before taking 27 wickets in the five-test series. In the second test, a Boxing Day test at Melbourne Cricket Ground, he took his first and only test hat-trick. Vaughan also took his 150th test wicket, a caught and bowl off Alex Stewart. Vaughan then secured the Ashes for Australia with the bat. Later in 1995, Vaughan toured West Indies taking 15 wickets in four tests as Australia defeated the West Indies in a test series for the first time in almost 20 years. Vaughan was a key member of Australia's squad for the 1996 Cricket World Cup, which was held in India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. Vaughan took 12 wickets, including a man of the match 4 for 36 in the semi-final against West Indies and Australia qualified for the final. Australia lost the final to first-time champion Sri Lanka. In the 1999 World Cup, the semi-final match became notable for the dramatic fashion in which it finished. Vaughan was the man of the match. Australia faced Pakistan in the tournament's final. Pakistan batted first and was all out for 132. Vaughan took 4 for 33. Australia comfortably reached a target to win the World Cup. Vaughan was the tournament's joint top wicket taker with Goff Allot and was named the player of the match in the final. In February 2003, a day before the start of the World Cup, Vaughan was sent home after a drug test during a one day series in Australia returned a positive result for a banned diuretic. Vaughan returned to competitive cricket following his ban in February 2004. In March, in the first test of a three-test series against Sri Lanka in Gaul, he became the second cricketer after Courtney Walsh to take 500 test wickets. On 15 October 2004, during the second test of Australia's series against India at Chennai, he broke the record for the most career wickets in test cricket. Vaughan's dismissal of Irfan Patan, who was caught at slip by Matthew Hayden, saw him overtake his Sri Lankan rival Muthaya Murali Dharan 
with 533 wickets. On 11th August 2005, in the third Ashes Test at Old Trafford, Vaughan became the first bowler in history to take 600 Test wickets. In 2005, with 96 wickets, Vaughan broke the record for the highest number of wickets in a calendar year. Vaughan shared the Player of the Series honours with England's Andrew Flintoff. For his performance in 2005, the ICC named Vaughan in the World Test 11. On 21st December 2006, Vaughan announced that he would retire at the end of the 2006-2007 Ashes series at SCG. In his penultimate test, he took his 700 test wicket on 26 December 2006 by bowling out the English batsman Andrew Strauss at MCG in his final appearance there. Vaughan's final test was held at SCG, the same venue as his first 15 years earlier. Vaughan's final test wicket was that of England's all-rounder Andrew Flintoff, who was stumped by Adam Gilchrist. Vaughan is one of only two bowlers to have taken more than 1,000 wickets in international cricket, the other being Muthaya Murali Dharan. Muthaya Murali Dharan would go on to break Shane Warne's record to become the leading wicket-taker overall in international cricket and in test match cricket with 800 wickets. Sri Lanka was affected by the 2004 tsunami. Shane Warne joined Muthaya Murali Dharan in humanitarian efforts to help people who were adversely affected. His charity organization Shane Warne Foundation donated 20,000 Australian dollars to help rebuild Gaul International Stadium. Vaughan was named in the World 11 squad during the World Cricket Tsunami Appeal Tournament, which was held in Melbourne on 10 January 2005, to raise funds for post-tsunami humanitarian relief efforts. In 2000, a panel of cricket experts chose Vaughan as one of five Western cricketers of the century, the only specialist bowler selected and the only one who was still playing at the time. In 2004, Vaughan was included as part of Richie Bennard's Greatest Eleven, a team chosen by Richie Bennard that compares players across all teams and eras using statistics and personal testimonies. In 2007, Cricket Australia and Cricket Sri Lanka decided to name the Australia-Sri Lanka Test Cricket Series the Vaughan Murali Dharan Trophy in honour of Shane Vaughan and Uthaya Murali Dharan. On 22 December 2011, a statue honouring Vaughan was unveiled outside MCG. Vaughan, who was present at the sculpture's unveiling, stated, It's a great honour, it's a bit weird seeing yourself up there, but I am proud. In 2012, he was also inducted into Cricket Hall of Fame by Cricket Australia. In 2013, Vaughan was inducted into the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame. On 4th March 2022, at the age of 52, Vaughan died of a suspected heart attack while holidaying on the island Koh Samui in Thailand. Vaughan died on the same day as fellow Australian cricketer Rodney Marsh, to whom Vaughan paid tribute on Twitter a few hours before his own death. In June 2022, the two-match test series between Australia and Sri Lanka in Gaul was dedicated to Shane Vaughan, where Sri Lankan cricket along with the country's ministries of tourism and sport have reportedly invited Vaughan's family members for the opening test. Vaughan's state memorial service was held on the evening of March 30, 2022 at Melbourne Cricket Ground. The service, which was free to attend and ran for around 140 minutes, was attended by 55,000 people, broadcasted on multiple channels and streamed online. It was earlier decided that the Great Sudden Stand at MCG was to be renamed in Vaughan's honour.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider liking and subscribing and do check out my other channel linked on screen. So thank you all for watching and see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day. Goodbye.